Shalom and welcome to Branch of Israel. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from God's beautiful country, Israel. Today's topic is one of my favorites because of my love for aviation. Some of my friends who know me best might say that I have my head in the clouds most of the time because I'm always looking for aircraft. The average person knows the basics of American aviation history, but as for Israel's history, well, the line blurs a bit. In America, the Wright brothers are credited with the start of it, but in Israel, it was a conglomeration of people. When Israel became a nation in 1948, a lot of things were born more out of need than a desire or necessity. May 15th, the day after Israel became a nation, five Arab countries invaded Israel with no modern artillery aircraft, a few military vehicles, and 10,000 rifles. It seemed like Israel might not stand a chance, but God was already there with them. In fact, an Egyptian Spitfire was shot down and landed on the new Israeli soil. The new Israeli Air Force built its first Spitfire from junk, which was left by the Royal Air Force when the British forces evacuated Palestine, as well as from components which had been shot down. By the 23rd of July, the Spitfire made its first test flight and became operational in August. A second Egyptian Spitfire was also reconstructed from Royal Air Force junk and from components of the Spitfires which had been shot down, and was test flown on the 14th of October, and on October 21, this aircraft too became operational. Back then, the Israeli Air Force consisted of whoever was willing to work and help. However, today, well, let me say it's not as easy as it was then. To become a pilot for the Israeli Air Force today, the course is three years long and considered one of the most prestigious courses in the IDF. Thousands of draftees, which include women, undergo a rigorous selection process which involves medical, logical, and psychological examinations, plus a five-day-long exercise to test their combat abilities. Most cadets start at 18 and graduate at 21 with a rank of lieutenant and a BA from Ben-Gurion University of the Negev. Only 10% of the cadets make it through the course. After completion of the course, the pilots commit to another seven years of active service. The Israeli Air Force course has five specializations, fighter pilots, helicopter pilots, combat navigators, transport pilots, and flight engineers. Every pilot must complete six months of operational training in the squadron, after which they may officially take part in operational activities as an Israeli Air Force pilot. It goes to show that God will use anyone, any age, and any background to help build a military force and a nation. How much more are you willing to help in God's army starting today? For more teachings and information, visit branchofisrael.com. That's branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. Thank you so much for listening. Lahitra, it's goodbye or see you again.